I'm happy to introduce Mary Ann Reese, who is president and CEO of St. Elizabeth's Hospital. Mary Ann will tell you about our plans. Mary Ann. Thank you, Bill. This is quite exciting. Um, today, uh, I speak on behalf of St. Elizabeth's Hospital Board of Directors, the Hospital Sisters Health System Board of Directors, and the Hospital Sisters of St. Francis. I am thrilled to be here today. I am going to answer the question that so many of you have been uh, asking. What does St. Elizabeth's have in mind for the future? Well, St. Elizabeth's is moving forward on three important projects that will help ensure access to high quality health care for the Metro East region for generations to come. The St. Elizabeth's Hospital Board of Directors voted unanimously to approve these plans. First, St. Elizabeth's plans to build a replacement hospital on Interstate 64 at the corner of Greenmount Road and Regency Park, just seven miles from here. The hospital will be designed for the way healthcare is delivered today and how healthcare will be delivered tomorrow. St. Elizabeth's will be a technologically advanced teaching hospital as we are today, a teaching hospital. And we will serve as an anchor on the wellness campus of Interstate 64. This 114 acre site will give us plenty of room to grow and to adapt to the healthcare needs of our regional community into the future. St. Elizabeth's Hospital will have 144 private rooms, an emergency department, an advanced intensive care unit with 24 seven critical care doctors and called intensivists. We will have beautiful modern birthing suites and operating rooms. We will continue to provide award-winning heart care, accredited stroke care, accredited inpatient rehabilitation care, and we will have expanded outpatient facilities on this campus. We will also feature telemedicine, we'll have laboratory and imaging services, we will continue and enhance our electronic medical health record, we will continue to partner with our wonderful physicians and continue to provide off-the-chart care to our regional community.